Hi, I'm Randy Kaufman. I am the chair of the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today in our old Spanish Fork building at the Hive Trampoline Park's grand opening ribbon cutting. And let me tell you guys, this place is crazy. I would never have imagined that there used to be a retail store in this location. So I'm gonna pass the mic and tell us who you are and tell me why Spanish Fork and why a trampoline park. Sure, sure. Uh, I'm Russell Jackson, my wife and I, Jamie, and I uh, opened this trampoline park in conjunction with some partners. Uh, my wife and her family are from Spanish Fork, multi-generational family members here in Spanish Fork. Um, we decided to uh, open a trampoline park here. We've done some um, development and other kinds of projects, mm -hmm. um, but nothing here locally like this. So we wanted to bring something um, exciting, something fun, uh, something unique uh, that would benefit our community and also the, ch the kids in our community. Give them something really fun to do, unlike anything else. So, uh, hence the Hive Trampoline Park, which is the now the largest trampoline park in Utah with 70,000 square feet of trampolines awesome. and a zip line and go-karts and obstacle course and dunk ball and I could just go on and on, but we don't have to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Um, so tell me a little bit, like, how do people, is it a reservation? Do people, can people just show up? And how do we find out more about this place? Sure. Uh, you can make reservations, but that's not necessary. You would go to Hive Parks, that's plural, hiveparks.com, and you can uh, assign waivers for the park there. You can buy tickets there. Um, you can book parties there. Uh, you can book out the entire uh, a place there as well um, but uh, you don't need to do that you can come right into uh, the park uh, it's at the old Shopco Center like you mentioned before which is 955 North Main Street um, but you just come in and uh, pick up do your tickets right here yeah. I don't have kids but I'm excited to bring my husband who's like a child here all right so you said something about go-karts where and how did you get go-karts in here right uh, well, this building is so big, we wanted to come up with a few attra different attractions that would be exciting for all ages. So, for example, the go-karts are in the back corner. It's hard to see from here, but if you were to go in that area, it's gi gigantic. There's a huge uh, go-kart course there. Uh, there's go-karts for little kids. They're all electric. And there's go-karts for big kids. Um, so this is uh, one of the only places that little kids can drive and parents can race against their kids. Other attractions that we have that are kind of unique, we've got an 8,000 square foot bounce house over here for all ages. It's got slides and obstacles and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, just a dedicated toddler area. Um, we've got, uh, uh, like I mentioned before, double battle beams, a ninja course, a ninja course, uh, interactive rock wall, and a, a, something fun for the parents. We've got a, a nice, uh, cafe here. So we tried to put a little bit of effort into the cafe with some better food, um, some better drinks where mom and dad can hang out on the nice couches um, and watch their kids have fun. So one thing I'm noticing too is maybe if the parents are don't want to participate there's actually a lot of like comfortable seating there's actual couches that so not just hard chairs or a, a picnic bench that you have to sit at that it's like a very comfortable I mean even walking on the carpet it's like nice yes. and cushy so yeah. that's really awesome that you've put that much thought into not only pleasing the kids but pleasing the parents right we, we have the um, the floor is actually double padded uh, because we wanted it to make it feel like you're in your own living room. Yeah. And there are dozens and dozens of, of couches that you would put in your own house that we put here to try to make the parent experience a little bit better. Awesome. I did hear one thing. So I heard that in the evenings that lights go off and yeah, there's black lights. Right. Tell me a little bit about yeah. that. Uh, every, every Friday night uh, from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock p.m., uh, we turn out all the lights. We turn on the UV lights, everything glows, the padding glows, our graffiti art glows. Um, we've got lasers, we've got lights, we've got speakers, and we play uh, some fun music for kids to dance to in the neon uh, lights. Our normal hours are from uh, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, but on Fridays and Saturdays, we're closed on Sunday, but Friday and Saturdays we're open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Awesome. And then Friday nights are those neon nights. Awesome. Well, Russell, thank you so much for having us and joining the chamber. We're super excited to be 
part of helping you, you build this business. I think it's well needed. I can see a lot of high school kids too wanting to come for date nights and places for people yeah. to come during the summer that's to right. cool off. That's so right. thank that's you really very awesome. Much. Appreciate it. Um, I want to thank say thank you to Channel 17 for recording the ribbon cutting and being here and to Costco for our great cake.